low power mode on your iPhone. Is it just a yellow battery icon or does it actually give you some extra battery life? Today we're going to put it to test and talk about it. Let's get right into it. First of all, what is low power mode or LPM? When you toggle on low power mode, your iPhone goes into power saving mode. It reduces screen brightness, it lowers CPU and GPU performance, also known as underclocking, pauses iCloud, photo syncing, and etc. But how much it actually helps in a real world scenario? Here I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max. This iPhone has a battery health of 90% and is the original battery. It has never been changed. We're starting off with low power mode disabled. Here I'll be doing speedometer 3.1 which is a web-based benchmark. Let me start the benchmark while you subscribe and like the video. We got 27.6, which is pretty good for a phone. Now we're going to go with low power mode. So I re-ran the benchmark. This time we got 12.2, which is less than half we got previously. Yes, we got a lower score, but there's a catch. Let me explain. This is a synthetic benchmark, which doesn't really resemble a real world scenario. You don't use 100% of your CPU all day long. Even though we scored less, UI is still flawless. There is no stutters, there is no drops, no lagging. The fact that we got less than half of what we got previously doesn't really mean anything bad for a real world scenario at least. With that all being said, I moved to another test where I recorded 5 minute 4K 60fps video twice, once with low power mode on, once with it off. First I started low power mode enabled, then I recorded again with it off. Recording normal 4K 60fps video is, is an easy task for this phone. And as you can see, the battery percentage dropped by the same amount. But I can clearly say disabling low power mode resulted in more heat. It definitely feels hotter. So let's get the conclusion. Is it actually doing anything? Yes, it should help your battery last a little bit longer, but it may not make a huge difference in every case. Just as we have seen, enabling low power mode didn't really affect the battery usage at all. Because 4K 60fps video isn't that much of an intensive work. If you're doing heavy workloads like gaming, shooting a 4K ProRes log video, which is way more intensive than a normal video, since the GPU and CPU are underclocked or in low power mode, you may see a difference in battery life. But you may also see FPS drops in your video and lower FPS in your games. When should you use it? Use it when you really need to squeeze out that little extra battery life. Because as I stated in the starting of the video, it cuts down on background apps, pauses iCloud sync, disables email fetch, and etc. So it will definitely affect the experience that you get out of your iPhone. 